exec chef of Hyde Restaurant in Piccadilly. And here in Harrogate with Slingsby Gin and Royal Ascot, and we're developing a one-off flavour just for the Sandrigan. Welcome, Ollie. Hey. Mike Carthy, co-founder and joint owner of uh, Slingsby Gin. And you're here today to hopefully come to your own formulation. Yeah, very excited. Looking forward to it. Hopefully you can show me the ropes. Right, OK, Ollie, it's time to select your base materials here. Um, there are six classifications. Citrus, floral, herbal, spiced, uh, juniper, leading, and a fruit. So I'm thinking if you want to smell them, taste them neat, add some tonic. The Verbena's one of those, again, slightly forgotten herbs. I mean, it's coming back, but for me, it should be in every supermarket across really? England in the summer. It's just effervescent. OK, Ollie, you've done your six. Which one are you going to go for? So decision time, you're going to go for number one, which is the citrus. Just love the clean, crisp flavours of it. I can see it's got lemon verbena in, which is a personal favourite. So yeah, we'll just add a couple of couple more uh, botanicals and, and see where it leads us. Okay, the selected botanicals for this blend are green tea with jasmine, a lemon verbena, lemon peel, grapefruit peel, coriander, and licorice root. I'm gonna probably lift the lemon verbena a little bit. Okay, Ollie, if you'd like to charge the still with the grain, grain neutral spirit. Yeah. So full bottle in. Yeah. That's good. And then add the three core ingredients, the juniper, coriander, and angelica. And that's now ready for your next component parts, which you're gonna weigh out. Perfect. Okay, Mike, so now I'm gonna get started weighing up the botanicals to go in. Starting 0.2, licorice root. So my everything's weighed out to the gram, the still's charged, what's the next step? Right, the key stage, distillation. This is where the alcohol is gonna permeate with those botanicals and we're gonna get your magic liquid coming across for collection. Exciting. Okay, Ollie, distillation done. Split now between heads, hearts, tails. Mm -hmm. It's now back to you. Would you like to do a blend of heads and or tails with the hearts to give your final taste preference? All yours. Cool, I'll give it, a, give it a try. So you said earlier, was it dip, don't sip? Dip, don't so, sip. Because this is 80%? 80%. Yeah. Yeah, punchy. But now you really get the verbena coming through. Yeah, it's more, more citrusy yep. still. That one tastes a bit more marmalade almost a bit Heavier. more cooked out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, maybe 10 mil. So the gin's ready, but it's neat. So we're going to top it up with the Harrogate spring water. OK, Ollie, you're now ready to check the final strength of your yeah. product. So look at about 43, 44. Ah, oh, punchy. <laughs> there you go. So here we have it. The end result. Huge thanks to Mike, Alex, and all the team here at Slingsby Gin for helping me produce a delicious bottle. And I hope you guys enjoy it too this summer at Royal Ascot. I'll see you then. Cheers.